Hi everyone, you remember I did that haul from 7 grade cross stitch? Well today we're going to be talking about what I'm actually using them for and I'm going to show you what I'm using them for. So we got some wax, the thread cutter, and our needles. First of all, let's go over this. I have, I'm into junk journals and I right now I'm into making jewelry and I've made a few pieces and I'm very proud of those pieces that I have made. Um, as an example, this is one of them, and I've used string, not stretch card, as you can see. It has a little bit, a little give to it. I do have a stretch one, but anyway, I thought it'd be good to use those needles, some needles like that, some straight needles that I can just pick up the seed, the seed beads or beads like that. And we have 25 of these, so wow, you know, you have a great selection, as well as some larger needles that I'm going to be using for my cross, um, for junk journal signatures okay so we have a, a a good a good variety of needles to choose from and that's the whole point of the the thing we we love a variety right and and look the eyes and needles are very good especially for people that may need a little bit of assistance in um getting their needles threaded you know over time that 2020 eyesight requires a little bit of assistance so we're going to use a smaller a smaller needle only because we're going to be using some seed beads so we're going to use that and let me show you i have some thread that i picked up from a local box big box store and this is a upholstery thread and i got it because i saw someone talk about how they are using it and so we're gonna go ahead and use our thread cutter yeah look easy peasy no scissors required just keep this on your desk a lot of seamstress wear these in necklaces on their necklace or whatever or their little tool kit and now we're going to take our needle and thread it okay luckily for us i still have a bit of a decent hand eye coordination for threading a needle easy thread and then let's talk about why I really got this. I wanted it because, listen, 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 listen. Uh, sometimes the thread gets exactly how it is right now, jumbled up. And you know what you need? Something to smooth it out. You can't put the thread under a book, but you can use a bit of wax to make it happen, right? And so that's what we're doing. We're just going to make a knot in our thread real quick. I'm, I didn't messed up. I didn't made a boo boo. Uh, let's fix that. That was not intentional. I'll tell you that. I hate wasting uh, material, even though it's a little bit of a material wasted. I just do not in care to waste it. Okay. Now you want to measure your thread out if you're actually going to be um, making a necklace, but this will fit around my neck. And so now what I'm going to just take this, and I'm going to hold it like that and you see do that once or twice and the curls in your thread stop because you put a little layer of wax on them not as curly as it was before so that is why I got it to help out with that coil on my thread and it actually gives a little bit of a reinforcement to your thread to be a little bit stronger than whatever you have now I have some other thread but it's already wax on there so I don't need it you know I can run it through one more time if I wanted to I do want to run it through because I feel like this is just very soothing very soothing anyway this is why I got and this is what I'm going to be using these products for those and you see how easy it was to cut this down love that for us and then you know you can never go wrong with having needles because sometimes they fall you put them in your shirt you can't find them uh you have them in your mouth and you're talking to people and you're like where's my thread or where's my needles so anyway go ahead click on the description box i have a uh code a coupon code that you could use for seven grade cross stitch and go over there and see what you could get for your craftiness anyway i'll say thank you all for watching until next time happy crafting